This team that I have this year is a very unique group of young men. Um, I've probably not had a team that cares as much about each other as this team does. And a lot of that has been forged due to tragedies that members of the team have gone through and have really come together because of it. In uh, October, just before we played, uh, I have an assistant coach that's a high school teacher as well. He's in his mid-30s. Uh, he lost his wife to a stroke, which was a, a shock. His two young children, 12 years old and nine. And our team gathered around Coach Bright uh, in, in a very compassionate way. Shortly after that, uh, I have a, a married player whose wife was pregnant and they lost their child which was, again, something that the team rallied around and were able to uh, be sympathetic, but also strength for uh, Ted in his situation. And then right before Christmas, uh, my All-American candidate player, uh, a guy who has played for me for four years and averages 18 points and 12, 13 rebounds. Uh, his dad was at work and was killed uh, going out to lunch in an automobile accident. And so there was the third major event that hit our team. All of those events, I firmly believe, have really put this group of young men uh, together. I would like to talk a little bit about Hal's team first. And um, you mentioned his team and everything they've gone through and uh, just to be in the situation they are right now. They're leading the conference, I believe, uh, four or five and one. Um, again, to be in that situation, it takes a special group of guys, and I think it also takes a special a special coach. And uh, we went through that same thing when Coach Lloyd was sick uh, four or five years ago. And it really tore our team apart. We weren't able to uh, come back from that. We lost a lot of games that year. And uh, the one thing, how failed to mention um, with all the other tragedies was was his health early on. I know he was struggling early. He missed some games and um, again those kids held together and they made it through that. He's feeling better now. We're all happy to hear that. And again it's a tribute to uh, the kids he has in his programs, the type of kid he recruits. And certainly that doesn't happen without having a coach like Howe running that program. 